The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more. typically took about a thousand hours. Now we could run, we ran two shifts a day, so it sounds like we could do 16 hours a day, but between inspection and maintenance and other things, we probably were 10 hours a day. So a thousand hours is about a hundred days, is about three months. So we would be doing the equivalent, a test that we thought was equivalent to about 20 years of service in about three months of time. Now, it looked really severe when this stuff was running in here, Hearing protection was required, stuff's banging all over the place. You can't get in it because if something goes, the little electrical spike hits the system and the actuator goes shooting through the roof, you, it wouldn't be good. And we had a lot of people want to get in. We had some executives get in. We thought about leaving them in. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, but, um, but it, 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 was, it, was, it was, you looked at it and you think, oh, crap. Well, how this is.
Station 9, also can't pass by. Unless you want to see the, the 
it didn't fall off anything. Um, yeah, okay. It had a DVD player. Uh, when you were, came up here to do a presentation, you transferred your files onto this computer and you read everything to do your pro professional presentation. There was method to our madness here at Navistar, and this was left behind by the company. This is our actual product development methodology, all the way through from understanding customer needs, what do we want in our next model. We create a model index that has the features that we want into that new product. We'll then go through the styling concepts that Dave just went through with you. We'll do the design, and we'll build prototype trucks. So you'll see a station here later where we build trucks in this facility. And then we will take those out and do all the testing that we're going to go through as well today. There's a lot that leads up to job one in a plant. And that kind of lays out the methodology that we use to get to job one. I was talking to somebody recently. Okay, i got to catch up with Denny now. <laughs> but I opened your office and I showed him your office. And ain't nothing in that. Well, Office death punnets wham. Water tire and tank dirt cats.
are we supposed to mount this bar?
side. I did not mean for that.
these are so neat. What?
kind of went like this way and it's wound back in. We are back and we are in our truck. What do we do first? Buckle up. Yeah. Seat belts. Seat belts. And mine's is, ours is actually orange this time. <laughs> Okay, seat belts fastened. <laughs> this curtain is. Oh, they got a curtain, you see. I got two arm glasses. Here's your dazzle and blink. <gasps> what the heck? <laughs> What's that? that? Here's your part initial twine. You got your horn. In your airbag, horn stuff, your phone, Where? Oh. right here on the steering wheel. Oh, you got your okay. desk and all your monitors, hassle lights, parking plate, tire plate. You got your radio. Yep. <laughs> you got well, a tire plate there too. I want to see the radio. You can get it when you come over here. Okay. Don't have to try to stress your back. Here's the thing for your settings in the back. You got a sand visor. <laughs> One is in danger. Yep. Um, you ain't got a sunwolf. Up here. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah. You got things to put your stuff in? Yeah. You got speakers on the door? Oh, right here? Yep. You got um, your thing for your um, like phone. You got like a cell it thingy? Yep. Boom, boom. You got top holders? Stay tuned for more. Back out here we are in another truck. What do we do first? Uh, buckle up your seat belt. Yep, seat belts. Okay. I fasten in. I can touch my seat down here. Yep. Okay. I ain't got an arm west. Here's your steering wheel. Your initial fly refers, dash and blade. Uh, oh, can I see us? You can, you can wait, Ronnie. You can come over here and get it. Okay, it's too small. You got your um, speed monitor, gas, and all that fun stuff. Yep. You got heat air conditioning dame. You got your heat air conditioning settings, your fan. You got a radio. I got a horn. And I also have an air bay there too. Um, I can, if I think they might, you can, maybe. Yep. <laughs> you can adjust the steering wheel. On this one. This is nice. You got the sun visors. <laughs> you can roll the window down. Oh yeah, it's like. <laughs> you can adjust the seat where you can even wing back if you wanted to. Let me do it so here a little bit. You can even touch your seat back if you wanted to. And stay tuned for more. We are back and we are in a dark spot. What we do first? Buckle up. Seat belt. Seat belt. Mm. Man. Mm. 
important thing. I fasten in. Ooh. Okay, here's your steering wheel. You need all your parking brake, your um, mm. tire air supply, mm. you know your shift. You know your um, thing for your west sales wipers. It's too tight on me too. The phone's talking. No, oh, it's me. Uh. Here's your this will be first um suffer. Oops. Okay. Radio, Twitter play. You don't have to worry about trying to get all that too. Okay. Here's some stuff. Um, the sanitizer. Steering wheel. Um, I can adjust my seat. <laughs> you know your lights? Yeah. A little spot for your, I don't know if it's a bed or what it is, but you know, a little space for you to do your stuff at. It's, stay tuned for more. <laughs> we are back and we got another what What we do first? Buckle up, get your seatbelt on. Yeah. My seatbelt's fastened. You got your dash and brake. Here's your steering wheel. And your parking brake. Okay. Your personal roller. Um, huh. Here's your nurse first drive radio. You got your heat thing. Here's um thing you roll your window down. Oh, wow, you can roll awesome. your window down. Yeah. Uh we need a uh you gonna No. You gonna He's uh, pulling away. You gonna tow a car? No, he's just stopping for a set. He probably forgot to do something. And um you got your arm rest? Um, heat air conditioning, stay tuned for more. We are back in the north, what will we do first? Bucker up. Yep, seat belts. Seat belts. What the, hang on. Okay, oh, okay, that's what it is. There you go. <laughs> okay. Seatbelts fastened. You got your parking brake, your air brake, steering wheel. You got two arm masses. Yep. Radio. Trailer brake. You don't have an arm rest. Nope. Oh, oh crap. You got your um, Wednesday light bird thing. You got your monitors. You got your sun visor. Oh, man. I got one too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I forget to get that on fail. Right. Oh. <laughs> now here's your nozzle shift thingy. And stay tuned for more. <laughs> we are back and we are in a dark twat. What do we do first? Buckle up. Yep, even we are in a sandbar, you still wear show wear your seatbelt. Because you don't ever know if you don't get in an it or what. Nope. Okay, seatbelt fasten. Yep. I got two arm wasses. Yep. 
I got two, two. Oh, I like this puppy. This is a hot one. Here's your steering wheel. Man, my hands, oh god damn. Hands all sticky. Here's your steering wheel. You got your head right. Set toes. Twelve, twist of twelve, air horn, it's in plate. You got your tires plate, your parking plate. You got your part neutral twine. Your heat air conditioning. Oh, damn it. Radio. Fifth wheel, all these switches. You got your monitor and stuff here. You got speakers for your radio. Ooh. You can get it when you come over here. Oh. This sucks too sticky. It's okay. We can wash our hands later. This yeah. seat thing about you can. I can adjust the seat up and down too. And then you got the camera turk. Being down a bed in the Damn back. Damn it. <laughs> if you need to, you can always like put it another way if you need to. Oh. Yeah, there. Ooh. Man, this <laughs> Man, this seat goes well hot. Yeah, they need to clean these trucks out. They, they do? It is oil or something. It's, it's sticky in here. And... <laughs> I got this. Stay tuned for more. Okay. In our spot, what we do first? Buckle up. Yeah. My seatbelt is on. Okay. Okay, here's your first neutral twine shifter. Here's your desk plate. And you got a dirt panel. I don't know what the dirt panel is. Parking plate, radio. You got a hair, air, wait. I can get it when we're done. Mm -hmm. You got hair conditioning, heater, all that fun stuff. You got your um, monitors. Yep. Um, I got arm glasses. Oh yeah, two of them. I can see here I'm like Whoa. Ooh, look at this. That's new. Look. I don't know what that is. It must be a like a twelve panel down or something. How you do this? Put that thing down to look. And you got a sun visor. And that's it. Stay tuned for more. Uh, what's your name? Todd Myers. Todd Myers? Yep. Todd, um, tell us about your truck. It looks like it's really unusual. Looks like it's got clamps in the front. And yeah, this is actually a this is actually a digger derrick. You can use it as a bucket too. But okay. this is what sets the poles. Oh, that's what that's yeah. for is to grab the poles? Yeah, that that's a pole glide or a pole guide so where you can clamp onto the poles and wow. hang on to it and move it around. We've got a winch line on it too, so where you can hold it up and whatever angle you need and keep it in the guides. Wow. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this is the truck that you used how, to set the poles. How deep usually you drill to set the pole? Uh, it just depends what size of pole you're going to put in. If you're putting in a 40, 40 foot pole, usually they're going about six foot in the ground. Six foot, okay. Yep. yep. Very good. Yep. Okay, anything else can you tell us about the truck? Pretty much all remote controlled now. Is we it don't, really? Yeah, we don't even have a digger seat or a captain's chair on the side of it anymore. It's oh. all remote controlled. Wow. Yeah, we got a remote probably about this big by this big. That's pretty cool. Yep. But yeah, we can use this as a bucket truck too, though. Okay. Yeah, I see the bucket yeah. on the side. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Appreciate it. Yep. Okay. Is there a horn in there? Yes. You want to do the horn? This button right there. <laughs> <laughs>
You look awful small in there. <laughs> I know. That's built for a big guy. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Think you can climb down? <laughs> I'm not going to do what Heather does. Okay. Chain. Chain. Oh, okay, chain. Um, this is the biggest truck, or medium truck? This is a full-size ready-mix truck. Okay. What's the bottom of the truck? Uh, weighs 80,000 pounds when it's completely full of cement. Uh-huh. Uh, got a 150-gallon water tank on it for water to add into the concrete. Wet air conditioning, which is good. Uh, how, about, how long will it keep the concrete? Uh, on a day like today, uh, probably two, two, two and a half hours. Oh, that's about it. Yeah, and you, you really got to start getting it off the truck because when you start adding water to it, it's like eventually it's like adding gasoline to a fire. You can only add so much water once it go. Once concrete takes off and starts going, then it's got to go. I mean, you got to get it off the truck or yeah, yeah. We've had that happen before. So. We have people that come in and de-chunk our trucks because you do get build up over the course of time. Yeah. Uh, and they, they come from down south. So we have a company that comes and de-chunks our trucks for us. So they get down and actually do it. We don't have to do it. Yeah, we're, now, when we were at Erie Haven, we used to have to do it ourselves. Oh, okay. So that was a chore. Is this a brand new truck? Uh, it's almost a year old, but I keep it clean. Yeah. So it looks like this about every day. Thank you. What do you have in front of you? Those are LED lights. Okay. So when we're on the job site, uh, they light up the whole concrete area. Okay. So uh, when we get there, in the, like at nighttime, yeah. contractors, we can turn those on and they can see what they're doing. How far away can you pull from that thing? 25 feet with all the chutes on. Wow. Yeah, so you get 25 feet. Can one man operate the truck? Yeah, the one man. One guy sits in there, there's a joystick in there, just like playing a video game. Okay. And you can move the chutes left and right, uh -huh. up and down, and then there's a toggle switch that uh, turns the drum backwards or forwards, okay. discharge or charge. You probably even got GPS in Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this for about 32 years now. Yeah. Well, I, I started when I was young, so. But I love it. I mean, it's a great job. You get to see people, meet people like you, uh, homeowners. Uh, everybody's usually pretty good. Now, when it gets hot like this, concrete can get a little cranky. When you talk concrete, can you explain what a four-inch slump is? A four-inch slump would be kind of almost like, not quite like pace, but almost like pace. And then the more water you put in it, the higher that it goes. So like a five inch would be a little bit wetter than that. Okay. Six inch is wetter than that. So yeah, it's it, it's almost like a pace at a four inch. The, the general consensus is a four inch slump. Okay. But I would recommend a five inch slump because it, it's a little bit looser and you can work with it. Yeah. For someone like yourself, if you're doing a home project, yeah, yeah. So you got to have time to work with it, and uh, we got great drivers. They'll come out and help you. You know, if you need help, they'll get out of the truck and help you. So that's. And how do you get a hold of you? I just call uh, IMI four seven eight sixteen seventy four. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good night. For the people at home that don't know you, who you tell us who you are? So my name is Lou and I'm the Creative Services Director. So I work behind the scenes at Wayne 15. Oh, okay. So a lot of people don't see you on Correct. I, tr I try to stay on this side of the camera, <laughs> so this is a little weird. It is weird. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you show us your truck and sure what thing. type of equipment you have? Yeah, sure. So this is our mobile newsroom. Uh -huh. So this is a microwave truck. This is how we send live footage from the field back to the station. Um, it's wow, a line. Uh, what's that? Yeah. Feet, yeah. So um, that the mast on the top of the truck goes up about 55 feet. Okay. Uh, it's all line of sight, so they turn the microwave unit uh, towards our tower on West State, 
How far away can you be? Uh, we, I, <laughs> it's been a while, but we could go from, I'd say Angola is probably yeah. about as far as we can go. That's pretty good. But yeah, right, so as long as it's line of sight, the, the receiver's up kind of high on the tower. Wow. Um, wow. So with that all the way up, we can get a pretty decent signal and okay. send it back. So nice. yeah, they can edit and do everything they need to do in here. And uh, What are all the gauges for? Um, most of that is electrical. Um, the, so there's a generator that fires up and powers everything. Okay. Um, so it needs its own power supply to get all the uh, equipment uh, now, working okay. properly. And how, ma how many trucks like this of traffic do you have? So we have about two of these, and then we have two, um, what they're called, they're called bonded cellular backpack units. Oh, okay. um, that can, it, it's, it's basically uh, a real compact unit that you can wear, so you can go live from anywhere. So these are a little bit more reliable, a little bit more stable, especially in areas that don't have great cell coverage. Can um, you tell us about Channel 15? Sure. There's a few channels here in Fort Wayne. Yep. Why so, should we watch Channel 15? Well, so uh, from my point of view, we <laughs> we provide the best local coverage uh, in Fort Wayne in the market. I agree. Um, yep. Yeah, so. I agree with that. Right on. Yeah, that's awesome. the most the only missing place we watch. Yeah. Awesome. That's something nasty that I saw. I appreciate that. So, you know, we're, we're all about local. We're all about what's going on here in Fort Wayne. Right. Um, and so we try to serve the community the best we can by doing stuff like this and going out and covering news. Yes, yeah, so. we see you around, Dwight. Like well, that's good. Yeah, when that's that's the goal. Okay, thank you so much. My pleasure. Okay. Thanks, guys. I hey, see you crawl up there. That's you a high one. Let's see if you got vertigo. I should. You got vertigo, I think. Yeah, I do. But yeah, I think you can make it. Boy, you're way up there. Woo! Yeah, this is real high. Yes, it's very high. Real high up here. Look at the size of them tires. Yeah. Man. Can you make it down by yourself? I should be able to. And I don't talk white header. Yeah, don't fall. Your mom just hurt yourself herself. I got this one with the air conditioning on and the newer trolley. My name is Carl with okay. Club Car Limousine okay. and Trolley. Yeah. This this particular bus is made by Starcraft out of Elkhart, okay. Indiana. These are all built in Indiana, and I will deliver them to New York City, Las Vegas, Miami, wherever they order them. And we've got one, uh, two at our company, Club Car Limo, um, party, we call them party buses. Do you actually rent them? Yes, we do corporate. I take uh, a bunch of uh, plumbers and electricians from here in Fort Wayne to Cincinnati Reds games, oh, the Colts neat. games, the Indianapolis 500, Chicago Bears games. Wow. Oh, Step on there. How do the people home get ahead of you like that? We've got, we are right across from Pierre's nightclub. Okay. And you can't miss us because we got six or seven trolleys and limousines parked out there and I got business cards like crazy. And I'm the senior chauffeur. I've been there 15, 16 years. And, very good, very good. And we, we got it going on and we love to do it. Weddings, I do weddings in these trolleys every Saturday. We see all our stuff. Yeah. yeah. We see all this all yeah. around. Do you? Do you see them all around? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we do all corporate events, 21st birthday parties, 10 year old birthday parties. Yeah, whatever. Jump on there and check it out, gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah, it's neat. We have, it's like a limousine, but it's big. Yes. Yeah. Got my little helpers here. Mm -hmm. Have lunch. Wow, look at it in here. Yeah. I didn't imagine it'd be like this. No, this is real. The white lights go off when I close the double doors. Right. And then at night. Ah, oh, I thought this up go red yeah. and the purple and the blue and the green and the yellow. And uh -huh. if you look under there, it's also red right now. Yep. Oh, so wow. the floor will light, light, up. light up under the seats too at night when oh, it's dark. Nice. And that's a, a DVD screen. Yeah. Oh. Put a DVD in there and watch a movie if you want to. Okay. 
And since we're not driving, you can actually have alcohol. You, we have a million dollar a year rolling liquor license. Yes, sir. <laughs> I tell people when they get on on a wedding, I'll get up and introduce myself uh -huh. and say, now there's one strict rule on my party bus, and that's everybody has to drink alcohol. <laughs> Except, all, for yeah, except, except for me, I've yeah. already had a couple. That's what it's. <laughs> Very good. But Very yeah, good. it's fun. That sounds like a lot of it's fun. It's fun. Different, like I said, corporate, yeah. corporate gentlemen. They like to go to the Indianapolis 500. I take yeah. them down there all day. We're down there 11, 12 hours. Wow. You know, this stuff like that. To, this is the way to travel. This is the way to roll. Yeah, it's, it is. We're all insured. You can drink and eat yeah. whatever you want. Uh, you got have a designated professional driver. Yeah. We just don't have a restroom on here. <laughs> but we can pull that? over yeah, and right. pull right. go wherever we want. <laughs> right. So true, Paul. So yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. You for bet. The tour. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is real nice. I like this. This is real yeah. nice. This is cool, ain't it? Yeah. Very cool. It's um 